In this tube, I have something that is hard to come by on AliExpress. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. In this tube, I have a long, light cast rod with a full grip. Even though on the store that I bought it, it has a different name. I think it's Shosham something. Uh, this rod, if I can show you the sleeve, it says Phantom and it's from Obsession brand. It's the C225L and very very cool sleeve, neoprene on the back and as I'm doing now I will give you a closer look on the table. See you! And in here you can have a closer look on the bag, the bag or sleeve as, as you call it in some places. It's very very good, the back is breathable but yet cushioned. You have some uh, compartments inside so it, they are sewn in to the length of the piece. It's a three piece rod. Uh, this is the 225 centimeter version or seven foot four inches. They also have it in 210 centimeters, 180 centimeters or six foot 11 or six foot. The version that I have in here, ah, and I forgot to mention that you can get both of them on casting and spinning so the heavier one should be 150 grams the other one 109 and the shorter version 98 grams so three and a half to four ounces in here you can see the label of the rod as i told you before this rod comes from obsession not from i show you um it's a phantom the guides uh, are stainless steel at least they are not magnetic I tested uh, after I finished the video probably on the next time I shoot I will put a magnet near me so I can show you guys that is not ma non magnetic guides the insertion seems ceramic the epoxy work it's actually pretty good for a 30 euro rod I paid, I think, 31 with discounts from the full price and some chipping. And you also have a nice full grip made of cork. Even though it will not be the best cork in the world, it's cork. Um, the action on this rod is light. Um, I think it's from 2 to 10 grams on all models. The one that I have in here has 10 guides. Uh, they are not Fuji branded, they don't even try to pass that through you. And in here I'm just putting a reel to see how it fits. This is my Tatula 80. But it's not a good look. So I grab another one. So I grab the Solo King Micro Monster. I put it in there, I don't know if you can see, but the chassis on the reel, it's the exact same color as the nut and the pistol grip on the reel seat. And I like to do this now on the testing because if you see it laterally, uh, I will show you in a bit after messing with the, with the reel, there's no gap on the reel seat, which is very, very good. It will stop the reel to dance on the reel seat very very secure very very comfortable grip uh, it will give you some more power because this is a longer rod you can use both hands to cast uh, you can have one on the reel and the other one on the butt of the rod just to give it a faster flick i did it when i went fishing with this rod i already tested it it's very, very competent. Uh, again, the biggest point on this rod is the size. You have better options on the shorter lengths on AliExpress. I will not say for the same price, but on $40, you have like the Mavlos Resolute, uh, sometimes the Creek Dance when it's on promotion day. You will have better options, but the two, 
25 or 7 foot 4 uh, this doesn't have any competition other than the obsession uh, phantom sold by obsession store but that it's a bit more expensive in here i will show you the tip they claim it's 1.1 millimeter it should be closer to 1.2 when i measured it so again you can see there it's 1.27 1.23 millimeter which makes sense because it's still going um, on the descent trend to, towards the tip and you have all the epoxy to fix the last guide in there so it should it should be a little bit thicker when you measure it uh, again i'm counting the guides it's 10 the other models will have uh, one less than this one again this was bought because of its size it's a very very competent rod and now i will give you a teaser of what's up to come with this rod with a micro monster oh something's on and i'll see you guys next time bye